Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Magic Yo-Yo Y03Hz. This is a budget release from Magic Yo-Yo and is incredible for the price. So now on to how this Yo-Yo plays. This Yo-Yo is super light, nimble, and faster in play. Usually with budget metals, they're on the heavy side and normally just feel like a rock on the other string. However, this is not the case for this Yo-Yo. As I said before, it plays super light, which makes it feel really unique and fun to play with. The yo-yo is also super stable and long spinning, as you would expect. Spring grinds on this yo-yo are exceptional. This yo-yo has a super soft blast finish that makes them feel great. Thumb grinds are actually really nice on this yo-yo due to that lift that your thumb can get under. Finger spins on this yo-yo are anything to write home about due to that flat center, but the laser engraving doesn't get in the way. As I mentioned earlier, this yo-yo plays really speedy, so when doing speed tricks, as you could assume, the yo-yo just feels like it wants to go. This yo-yo reminds me of a super light bimetal that just wants to play fast. Of course, this yo-yo isn't as powerful as bimetals though. So the smoothness on this yo-yo is not that great. On the string, it kind of plays hollow almost, and I think that's due to its lightweight. However, as far as vibe goes, this yo-yo is dead smooth, which is really incredible considering this yo-yo is only $15. I also really enjoy the size of this yo-yo. This yo-yo is slightly on the smaller side compared to other yo-yos, but it is certainly comparable in size to something like the Shutter. This yo-yo is a perfect EDC because it can do any tricks and it's only $17 and if you bang it up, you can buy another one. This yo-yo is also super accessible. You can buy it in basically every yo-yo shop there is and you can also buy it in places like Amazon. So how does this yo-yo feel for binds? Honestly, binds in this yo-yo aren't that great. They can feel slippy and kind of inconsistent. I think simply changing the response pads on this yo-yo would make it much better. So now onto horizontal. Surprisingly, horizontal on this yo-yo was actually really, really nice. The yo-yo was powerful, long spinning enough, and fast enough to get through all my horizontal combos. So now let's talk about if this yo-yo is worth it. To me, this yo-yo is 100% worth it. It is only $17 and honestly plays like a $50 yo-yo. It's super lightweight, but still has a great spin time, it has great stability, it has a super nice soft matte finish on it, and honestly, I, I could go on and on. This yo-yo is 100% worth it, and I would recommend you pick one up whenever you can. Thank you guys for watching, if you could leave a like and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me, and I'll see you in the next video.